I felt like Neil Armstrong on the moon, alone and happy. Hey, Father, how you doing? Let's see, it's been like, well, forever since my last confession because I'm not Catholic. Thank God you're okay! <laughs> of course I'm okay. I was in your apartment 10 seconds ago. Hey, ladies. Hey. One for each of us. We got this. You hostage? Like I said, we got this. It is active. Sophie is real-time, crowd-sourced crime-solving. This week, we are enjoying the launch of the new fall schedule of primetime television shows right here on CBS. CBS has been America's most watched network for nine straight seasons and 14 of the last 15. Yeah, your old favorites are bolstered by some new arrivals this fall. And joining us now, the dynamic duo, CBS Entertainment President Kelly Call and Senior Executive Vice President of Programming, Tom Sherman. Welcome. Thank well, you. Well, now, here. Kelly, Monday was the debut of America's number one comedy and scripted show, The Big Bang Theory. It was followed by the new Young Sheldon, which we love. Tell us how the shows did and what makes Big Bang such a big hit. Well, they did great. Uh, there's, no, there's no other way to say it. Uh, Big Bang actually came back uh, stronger than it, uh, it premiered last year with over 17 million viewers. Wow. And uh, Young Sheldon was the best comedy premiere in uh, more than six years, uh, also with 17 million viewers. So uh, it's, you know, so far, just after one episode, really the best pairing uh, we've ever seen with Big Bang. And uh, that's that's pretty exciting going forward. Oh, that's terrific! Yeah. <laughs> and uh, in terms of Big Bang, I, I just think it's it's it has universal appeal. Right. Uh, it maybe started as a show with kind of four nerdy guys and one girl, and they've kind of expanded the universe to include some other characters. And now I think people know the characters, and whether you're young, old, male, female, you know, you can identify with a character in that show. Well said. So, Tom, tell us about uh, some of the other new CBS comedy. Well, on Monday nights also, we have Me, Myself, and I, which stars Bobby Moynihan from Saturday Night Live, and he's fantastic. It also stars John Larroquette, famous John Larroquette, yeah. comedy icon, and Jack Dylan Grazer, a young actor who's terrific, and they play the same character in three different time periods. And it's a uh, very funny show and very heartwarming and uh, very romantic show, and we're really excited about it. Oh, and that's great. Well, now Wednesday night. Let's get to Wednesday at 9 p.m. It marks the debut of SEAL Team. We've heard so much about this. So, Kelly, tell us about the show and the good-looking cast, I <laughs> might say. <laughs> uh, David Boreanaz is a star. You might know him from, uh, from Bones yeah. or from Angel. Uh, he's a TV star. And he plays the leader of a, an elite team of Navy SEALs. Um, there's, it's tough to get into the SEALs, but this is the elite team. These are the guys who got Bin Laden. These are the guys who uh, rescued Captain Phillips. And they look so real. <laughs> they, well, and they look real because there are also uh, ex-SEALs who are helping them train and advising them on the technical elements of the show. So everything you're seeing is, uh, is the way they do it out in the field. Um, and you get to see them out in the field, and you also get to see a little bit of their home lives and uh, kind of the toll that it takes. Oh, that's terrific. And we want to point out that after the uh, CBS slate of uh, NFL Thursday night football games, another new series, SWAT, which uh, premieres November 2nd at 10 p.m., and it marks the return of Shamar Moore to CBS. Yay. It's also set in Los Angeles. <laughs> Correct. Right, so there will be uh, some storylines that might involve our city. It, all the storylines are going to involve our city. It's a very authentic uh, portrayal of Los Angeles with Shamar Moore as the leader of this elite, uh, elite SWAT team. He's fantastic. He's a very sexy lead. Yes. We what? do see his abs <laughs> yes. on occasion, I will say, for yes. the ladies. Every, um, every episode. <laughs> um, but it's full of action and uh, great characters and uh, really good police work. And it, it's, it's a, a, sh a show about heroes that we're really excited about. All right. Well, we're certainly glad that he's back. And we want to ask the both of you on a, on a final note. Talk about CBS's outstanding year in late night. <laughs> It's been fantastic. Fantastic year. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to talk about? Which one do you want? I'll take Corden. You take uh, Good. Colbert. <laughs> um, Stephen's on a roll. He's cool. now you know finished the year number one in late night uh, and goes into this year number one. Uh, you know I think the election really helped you know focus uh, him and the show and uh, they're hitting it out of the park every night. They're they're relevant and I think 
people are tuning in to see what Stephen says before they go to bed. So energetic, yeah. that's for sure. And James was a huge surprise when he came on the scene initially, and he's just best accent in late night. <laughs> and yeah. he's a delight, and he's they're, they've been hitting it out of the park every week. Well, we're excited about yeah. it for sure, and we want everybody to tune in to uh, CBS. We've got some really great shows lined up for you.